little bit aggressive to start things off, but you wouldn't expect anything else from Yampi. He's got his knife out, though. He doesn't think they're pushed up that quickly, and the opening duel goes to Oxygen. Realize that this push is coming right towards them, and Sulkus is about to swing and try to trade out his teammate. There's a couple, and Sulkus does it all. It's all left down to Zistow, the big player for this team in the past games they've played. He's got two players swinging on him, though, so there's nothing he can surround. Trying to pick a few players off, as I said, just making this one cost is going to be fine. It's actually Spectre's invested into every single player on Liquid. Now, we know that one of the things they really like to do, especially on this map, is build up that extra economy, make sure that he's going into that seaside, and then just got delayed. So they're running into this one almost. Dry Link within the smoke, though. He's not going to get anything. They'll take a little bit of decay as they go pushing into the site and scream. He's going to be waiting! Just mowing down three as they try to enter A. The spike dropped to the floor, and only 20 seconds to try and rectify things so smart from scream he dodged the recon bolt now coming into 12 seconds left this dow tries to do something but there's nothing to be had here for oxygen that is the moment i was gonna say there's not really any presence from liquid on this side of the map Out of and the charge. stars being placed it looks like an all-in take but now they've already got players waiting uh, they got the info with the the bird that went out. The flash link Ooh. gets three, but okay, Glow, that's remaining. a good start. Spike, Spike drop in the down. open. Although we can see that the players are not going to push him down, and they're spawning in heaven. He thinks about his flank, and that buys them enough time to eventually have to slow them down. Liquid are more than happy to just wait until these oh, pushes no. come in. They've got the orbital strike to shut them out. Cryptix is One destroying them. Another down. triple kill coming up for Liquid, and only seconds left on the clock for Toronto to try anything. And so Oxygen, they're getting out onto the site. The wall's even blocking off the one player they've got on short. Link able to isolate a duel, but now, what do they do? They're going out for individual fights. This is exactly what Oxygen want. The wall goes up to slow them. Even a cosmic divide. They have to be aware of behind as Link gets his teammates to run on through. They cover every angle, all their bases. And again, one player lost. Backside push, which has gotten them complete B control, but bypass the Killjoy utility, which is slowing them down, dealing damage. Cryptic's even using his util to grab himself a kill. And spamming through the smoke. That's dangerous now. Oxygen back into a 4e4, despite such a good early start from them. Yeah, that was even off the investment of a res as well. So to lose an extra player is already going to be rough. Oh Cryptix is just on an utter tear, looking for more victims. As the peak comes out from Mitters, though, giving them an advantage. Yumpy trapped out. Soulcast looking to come in from behind. They'll know where both players are and are just trying to hold within the site. B is definitely not the place you want to be when it comes to these afterplant scenarios. It can be tough to hold on a no scope from Yumpy. Just going flashy at this stage, and so he's just decided he's going to play the operator as a shotgun instead. It, 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 it makes perfect sense. Like you, you can't tell Yumpy what to do. Pieces that have already been built up. 14 liquid. Well, how about a flawless round? Because they don't want to deal with them, but he's tooked over in the corner. Still, his teammates are going to be late to rotate. He needs a lot, and a lot he'll get. Three kills! Oh my god, Oxygen, left. every time they have a chance, Liquid snatch it right out of their hands. <laughs> this is just unstoppable stuff, nine to zero. Sturin, they've, they've somewhat been separated. A couple of players pushing in, but they have managed to isolate the jewels. Mitis again, but just look how fast the trains are. They keep on coming, but Link on the back side, he's low HP and he still gets away with three. Come on, 10 to zero, Oxygen. Keep his sky smokes, which, it, they waste a ridiculous amount of time, unless you're just going to be pushing straight through it. Why By the time we actually it? see them go towards this site as well, uh, there's so many players here. Like, they've got a second, a third rotating. This is looking so easy for Liquid. They just, they have it all figured out, man. There's a shot coming out from the Sheriff that's so quickly dealt with. 11 to 0. Destroys them all. Every single time that they make the right play, they're getting just wrecked individually, but hold on. It, there's. I like the attempt. I like the the, the counter rather of popping so down the old pushing mid to catch them oh, on the way and go. scream. Oh my Enemy god, remaining. man! Headshot Spike after headshot. Four kills on the board and oxygen. It's the last round of the half. They thought they had it. They dealt with Yampi, and so that was surely the round going their way. A screen comes through to ruin their day. Toronto's even naded and <laughs> self and screen aces it out. A headshot wall bang to put 12. Let's do it enough. We're just going to. Yeah, by the way, guys, did you know Scream's actually pretty good at Valorant? Like, I don't, I don't know if you've heard this. Like, a guy who's very good at hitting headshots is good at Valorant. It, like, 
unbelievable. And it for fights right now. Oxygen, this guy always told us they just want to fight well. Sorry, it doesn't look like there's much fight in them, at least to start this one off. A four versus three. Liquid, get the site, get the plants. And with this kind of setup, Tom, they've still got full post plants. And yep, he's behind them. Of course he is. This is devastating. Oxygen, they might just be going out 13 to zero. Mitez is doing his best Ooh. though to make sure that doesn't happen. A side swipe from Cryptics leaves it all onto Turco. Low HP for both of these players. Turco <laughs> taking some point blank shots from a turret and he's gonna rotate around, but the time is ticking away. He has to clear these angles and they are ready to just swing together. Oh, Turco, he'll have to hit some nuts shots to get away with this one. There's the first. Use, leaving a player behind, faking the info. So if research has been done, maybe Liquid will know. But it seems like Minas again is going to get away with murder. He's dead, though. An easy trade. In fact, Scream just going to cook him in the corner, serve him up with a little bit of wine. But now they're walking into a stack. Weird to put your Astra there, but 13 seconds left. They need to go in Oxygen. Look at that, Tom. They've got a round on the board. They did it. Umpty's more than capable. That is really bad timing. Zisto needed to keep his teammate alive while he was in his astral form, and instead, they've just lost two players within the first few seconds by being in very compromising positions, and Yumpy's now away. But it's just clearing out a lot of information for his teammates. They only have to look at heaven, the turret spotting them, Link not going to break the glass. But it looks like the round might almost be over by the time he gets there. That said, there's a lot of duels being lost. Their focus is entirely on the site, and they turn at just the right moment. Okay, Oxygen, they're back in this one. A two versus one. The Ghost not able to do it, and Cryptic's up close. Oh, he gets it in the end. Near as easy as the previous round was for Liquid. The gap is much higher between them, and Solkus... He's just clearing his back. He's not going to push into Zistow and give him a kill. The timing. Oh, look, he even fake steps away, runs back around the corner, corner rather, and takes Zistow off guard. Uh, I expect, uh, you know, if you get two kills here, you're going to be very, very happy. And already the first go in their way. Okay. There's a sheriff to play with, one on the site that's dealt with right away. And Turco needs a headshot to make it work. But no, they've got the split they want. And on the site, oh, the timing caught them off guard. Solkus with the kill after the tag came through. Mitez wants to do something. That flash is so good, though. And Team Liquid, they just get a site control so easily. And the one opportunity to pull something back is a miss. A little bit for Oxygen, because again, in terms of the... <laughs> Okay, well, this grants them a lot of damage. Yeah, not really the weapon that you want to have in those scenarios, but it almost just works as an alarm system. Uh, he may not be the turret himself, but he is almost acting as the same role, just trying to deny things. Okay, the, the crisp, crisp shots of Soulcast may have disappeared, at least for the moment, but Zistow again. 1v5 and... <laughs> Round the turret doesn't see anyone. Oh, but the jump out from Scream's dangerous. He has his ult and that's going to be popped. He farmed this in the previous round and now they get a kill because of it. The damage he did, the aggression, the push through, the info as well. They know there's a player on the left side. It's going to be popped up with the Hunter's Fury to take Zisto down. Toronto recovers what he can. Turco wants to go out and take an aggressive duel. The wall stops him from seeing as they sideswipe out the left side. Scream's good for a double from that position before going down to a shock dart. And it's all on to Toronto. He's been fantastic in the start of this round, but now two shots need to be hit. And it won't be a, a Yampy style clutch. He's got his knives in his back pocket, and that's what he wants to pull out, but nobody's challenging him. Team Liquid are going to make him make the first move. Oh, the updraft above. He doesn't see him. Just a pixel between them that could have been Link dealt with, but instead the crossfire remains strong. And as he's seen, Toronto gets shot in the back of pursuing his victim. They're about to drone him out as well. Oh, Mitez, you're in trouble. Five players here now as the drone comes Ooh. in, but Mitez gets a double. Okay, that's worth it. Man advantage is now theirs. Ultimates out of the game. They've taken down the Killjoy. The Yampi's not so much important here, but the lockdown, that could have given the A side for free. That could have granted them a free post plan, but now... That Hunter's Fury can be used to try and find more information, stop the push, and gain them a foothold on the round as they push up behind. This is huge for Oxygen, the best they've looked so far. Closing it out will be difficult. They need to avoid giving fights until Zistow makes that big flank. But Turco, he got a little bit greedy. He saw that tag come through and felt the kill was his, but it wasn't. Glove distracting the shot from above as the swing comes out, but it's only good for a single. Now Glove has to clutch it. They know exactly where he is. 15 seconds, they can safely plant it. No utility to deal with them. The Hunter's Fury, everything he had was already used in the early round. Here's an ult from Scream, a headshot, but he still has two players to take down. And with 23 HP being tagged up by that recon, there wasn't a damn chance.
Seven one. It's starting to even expecting players to be closed, and Mitte still manages to get away with two. This is a better start though. Glove finding an opener. Now you you look at the weaponry that they currently have. It's not great, but they do have a few ultimates available to them. Maybe this can give things away. Soulcast so crisp though to take down Mitez, and there's going to be a response Five almost down, instantaneously deep. as it turns things into a 3v3. The lockdown place to try and hold them back, and Zisto is going to be watching. He's going to find himself one even still, but the remaining players are going to have to back away. You know, in a normal game, this is a very, very good round, but I'm gone past caring about damage done to the economy. You know, with these pistols, they've managed to get a lockdown in play, but they need to do more. They need to get around on the board. They need to start upsetting Liquid because they're maxed up on money. They're feeling good. I'm going to put a spanner in the works and well, we'll see if that's going to happen. Yampi up close with his ult in hand. You just, you always believe in him in this position and this might just be what with, but they've gotten out the choke point in the meantime. The distraction game, the smokes, the cages, this doubt. Good to get one around the edge, but what more can he do with low HP? Not a whole lot apparently. Hold on, Turco. A double for him. Lynx alone. He's spraying away and not connecting and that's it. The round goes to Oxygen. They only lose the one player. Back. And the Molly is going to hit Zistel on his rotate over. A flash Five comes down. in, which he dodges and looks to take down Scream. Unfortunately, that's an achievement that not many will manage all too easily. Mitez going to find that out the hard way as well. He pops up like whack-a-mole. And unfortunately, this one bites back. Three versus three. That's exactly what Liquid needed. And Oxygen, they slip up a little bit. The first kill, fine, but Mitez up above. That's the man advantage back out of their hands. As the retake will be mounted with lots of utility coming through. Link catches out Toronto on short. And now it's only the players up above. A wall to grant them vision far and wide and pop a res onto Mitez. How much is that going to really net for them? They've got to win these kills. The shock darts. Uh, is that a double bounce vertical shock dart? Doesn't look that oxygen are almost forced back into the show, and they're still gonna go running through. Lord, it's it's look, essential. Look at, yep. Oh, okay. Oh, All right, God. Toronto. It, it, maybe they didn't get it wrong. I was thinking they've stacked their players on the other side of the map. They rotated everyone onto A after the pick went in the other direction. They left Toronto to try and be that raid boss, that one defender of this site. And now they've got to be careful. The tag through onto Zisto has just pulled this one apart. Turco tries to get back into the site on his own. And Mitez is just a little bit too far behind. I know where he is with that alarm bot. <laughs> There's no way. There's two players stacked on top of each other. He can't isolate the fight. He can't take them both down. You'd even have to make a sneaky play on through while the rest of the team is distracting on B and pick up the rotates. Scream is the first to eliminate Toronto, the Molly to slow them, the smoke to block them. And now this is where you would imagine Zisto makes a big play, but no, it's not to be. And Lick definitely know where he is, that's no, for no. sure. He's just gonna walk straight into a crossfire. All the way, believe in the game plan. But sometimes you need a lot more than a game plan. And right now you're seeing them being torn apart as expected. Again, they're not really investing into this one, but it's not a pretty sight when they only get the one kill. 12 screen pulled off the angle, but there's still a player lurking within the smoke. Mitez has been able to find one at least. And Link is going to be there to trade. This is looking like a better round from Oxygen, but there's Soulcast to put another in the dirt. Yeah, see, the thing is, it's so close even when there's weaker weapons in play. That's the scary Nothing thing. Liquid finished. able to pull it back now and get two Vandals for what could be a retake if they don't just go out for the fights right away. Mitez, oh, he swings out for more. Three kills on the board. That's what we needed. Oxygen now have the... Today, they've been outclassed. But if Liquid give them an opening, if Liquid give them a way back in, they can build up some momentum. Hey, I'm not, I'm not going to call the comeback, but it is possible. I mean, we kind of good recently. We said after just... Oh, no, Zisto. Oh, no. That Phoenix Molly is so good, rather. But Mitez has got low HP, goes up against the Operator. Hey, it's a better fight for him to take, I suppose. But the first bullet does hit, and it takes him down. Man advantage now to play with defenders. Not having a bunch of control. Look at this massive gap over towards Short and Garden. Those guys can push on through and get a lot. The window's still closed, though, so wrapping into spawn was pretty much the only option without giving away a lot of information and making a lot of noise. And, of course, that player you're seeing on the radar is down below. So when they break it, they're not going to see him. They have to jump down, and Link is here, and he's communicating to his teammates. This is where he has an option for another massive play. He did it in the previous map. There's the first, but he's now being spotted. The wall bangs are dangerous from above and beside. And still a man. Oh, no! Yippee! That timing is perfect. He's looking to close it out here, and now with the knives, not going to get it done. Toronto running away with knife in hand, but he runs right into the waiting.